Alright All right, guys, welcome back to another video of this renovation. In the last video I finished painting. Now we got Chris back so we can get some big stuff done. So what to expect in this video? A lot of tile work. There's a lot of stuff we gotta get done. Tie a bunch of loose ends, like we got the stairs to paint. Um, we gotta wait for our counters. Trim out these beams, the ceiling. There's a whole bunch of stuff we gotta do, but we're gonna start just knocking stuff off the list. So we're gonna get right into it. We gotta finish this uh, bathroom strong. We're gonna start our tile on the wall. And to do so, we have our shower niche. Instead of building one, we basically just ordered one on Amazon. It's completely waterproof and already slanted and tile ready. Now we have to cut our hole in the center, get that set and waterproof. This is what the homeowner chose. It's nice. pretty nice. We're gonna have some uh, white grout lines in between. It's gonna look real good when it's done. We got some eighth inch grout joints to follow through. We're gonna measure, do some measuring, see uh, how high we want our shower niche. We don't have a little sliver of tile, so we're gonna figure that out now and basically just run it up. Alright guys, so we got a good majority of our shower done. We got some small pieces left to do in this niche. And then we got this little part right here to do. But for now we're gonna jump on this floor and try to get this floor knocked out. So what we're gonna be doing is laying a thin layer of cement board all over the floor. And then we're gonna also be putting a heated floor down. So we're gonna be doing that underneath our thin set. Um, we got our floor all clean and wiped down, all the cement scraped off it. And what we're gonna do now is go ahead and lay our cement board. All right, so we got our floor done. Now we're about to try to get this heated floor going. So before we put our tile down, we want to do a resistance test on our heating pad, make, making sure that none of the wires messed up or anything. So to do that, uh, we measure the ohms in the wire. So the manufacturer said it should be between 42 and 52. 50.3. 50.3, so right on 50. So that's right on the uh, high side of it, which is good. And now. Basically just gonna keep doing that resistance test a couple times through after we get some mortar on it, make sure our trowel doesn't couch any of this. And uh, gonna start in that corner, start coming back on the tile and gonna start making some progress now. Right now we're in the power lead in. They say to put it directly on the plywood, not on the uh, cement board, because then it will make your tile hump up, you know. We got the floor grouted, it's looking clean. So what we're gonna do now is hold off on the shower. We're gonna try to get the toilet installed, the vanity installed, and the washer and dryer installed. Basically get this place livable and then we'll jump back on the shower after that. So what we're gonna do now is install this toilet. Is this thing rock? Hey, you don't tighten it down to the thing snaps. Alrighty guys, we finished our grout, it's looking good. 
I like the tile a lot. We still have to put caulk in all of our corners, uh, do a little bit more cleaning up. As you see, we got our custom rod in. This is how the homeowner wanted it. We like it. We got some trim up caulk that we still put in, and then put the towel rods in, and this place is gonna be basically looking good. The uh, homeowner already is bringing some art over and there's rugs. Cool guys, planning it all out nice. So I'm just gonna keep busting this place out. All right, so we got back from Home Depot and got our baseboard and quarter round. Chris is staining some of our ceiling trim that we're gonna be trying to match the hardwood floor color to. Couple coats of stain, we'll get those going while we put some baseboard in. I'm gonna start putting some baseboard in upstairs. All right, so I'm gonna be putting in our baseboard and we got the edges mitered. All we do is just tack some nails into the base plate. That's it guys, shoot the nails all the way down. And then after that, put our quarter around. And that's what it'll look like. Caulk and paint it then, and that's done. All right guys, so I got this section ran. And I stopped there because we're gonna be building a custom shelf in the corner there. We got Chris out there staying in our pocket doors. Test fit it now to see if it fits and then send it back to get finished after minor adjustments. Just muscled the island up, <clears throat> helping our buddies out. Alrighty guys, so we're about to refinish these stairs now. And I already went ahead and pulled all the staples with pliers and scraped every stair with this scraper. So it's all clean. And what I'm gonna do now is sand them. I got a bunch of different sanders. Um, I'm gonna sand them now. And then after that, I'm gonna wipe them down and then paint them. I already did this stair. I'm about to start sanding these stairs. And I put this drop cloth up here so no dust gets up there. When I start sanding, I'm about to mask up and start sanding. justice but after two coats it's gonna look really clean so I have 11 more to do I'm gonna get those done now stairs are done got the railing on looks really good got some touch-up paint to do and some cleaning and that's it so that's gonna be a wrap for this video the next video will be the final video in this complete renovation series we're getting new windows and doing the backsplash and some final trim and paint so stay tuned for the final look hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and we'll see you in the next one peace